Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is me again, Christy. Hey, Christy. So, for my vlog today, we are gonna talk about the part of marriage. But before that, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and click the red bell button if you want to notify for my um, upcoming videos or my new videos. So I will try and answer the frequently asked question. Disclaimer lang po, I am not a lawyer. I don't know every answer to every question regarding on this matter, but I will try my best and share you guys on what I experienced when I was filing up this report of marriage in the Philippine Consulate or in the Philippine Embassy. So I have here my notes so I will be guided in all the information that I want to share with you. Okay, first question. What is report of marriage? Ano nga ba yung report of marriage? So, a report of marriage, when your marriage is contracted here in the United States between Filipinos or Filipino between foreign nationality, it should be reported and registered in Philippine Statistics Authority through Philippine Embassy or Philippine Consulate. For second question is, why do you need to report your marriage? Bakit nga ba natin itong kinakailangan gawin? Or bakit nga ba natin kinakailang mag-file ng report sa Philippine Embassy or Philippine Consulate? One reason is if you want your marriage to be recorded or registered in Philippine Statistics Authority, that is one of the reason. Next reason is if you are renewing your passport, and you want to use your husband's surname, it's one of the requirements. So it is important for us who has K-1 visa and got married <coughs> here in the United States of America to file our report of marriage in the Philippine Embassy. For the third question, where can I file the report of marriage? The report of marriage must be only filed in the Philippine Embassy or in the Philippine Consulate which exercises jurisdiction over the place of the marriage. Okay, I will be including here the list of the Philippine Consulates here in the United States. I will give you an example kung paano nga ba nag-work here. So, in my case, my husband and I, we got married here in Colorado. And Colorado is under the jurisdictions of San Francisco, California together with the other states. Another example, if you got married in Southern California, so you will be under the consulate of um, Los Angeles, California together with Southern Nevada and Arizona and other states. So, ganun po yung nag-work. Kailangan yung um, i-check mabuti kung saan kayong jurisdiction or kung saan under yung states nyo na jurisdiction. Importante po yun. So, for the next question. Okay, next question is how do you file the report of marriage? There are actually three ways to file your report of marriage. One is through email but that is not advisable because not um, all or most of the consulate are not accepting that. There are only few consulate that accepting that and then most common is through mail. That's what I did and by visiting the consulate. Okay, for the next question, what are the requirements in filing a report of marriage in the Philippine Embassy or in the Philippine Consulate? Number one is cover letter. So your cover letter must be like this. I will be showing you um example of the cover letter. This is the one that I used to submit my documents in the Philippine Embassy. 
your cover letter must contain your complete name, your mobile number, email address, and your permanent address, and of course, the address of the Philippine Consulate which you are under with. And then next is the date and then the body of the letter, which for example, mine is, I would like to report my marriage contracted here in the United States of America. Please find in close following requirements documents for further reference. So what are those? A five original duly accomplished report of marriage form. When when you say duly accomplished accomplish forms, it means that you filled out the form and it is already notarized. So for the notary, we went to a bank which my husband has an account and we asked them to do the notary and it's for free if you have an account in the bank but otherwise you will pay for like $20 each and it's expensive because it's five forms so what they did or the process they're just gonna ask you what is that form for and your IDs so I gave my passport and my husband gave his driver's license and after that he is gonna read the report of marriage form he signed it we signed it and he put the stamp for it and that's it that's easy and then for the next um, requirements they're gonna ask you for certified copies or original copies are true copies but don't worry guys because they're gonna return all the original copies after the process has been done and I think they're just gonna get one for the copies of each so don't worry about giving them the original so what are those one certified copy and five photocopies of mer marriage certificate or marriage contract so here this is the example Next is one certified copy and five photocopies of the birth certificate of both husband and wife. So I submitted my um, Philippine Statistics Authority birth certificate, birth certificate or PSA and then my husband birth certificates. We both submit our original or drew copies and then they just gave it back to us next are five photocopies of valid passport of both husband and wife so it's only the bio page of your passport so five photocopies of your passport wife and five photocopies of your husband's passport Okay, for the last requirements, it will be the processing fee of $25. You can give it to them through money order, bank draft, certified check, or a cashier's check. Here is an example. So, we include a money order because that is um, easier for us. All of the requirements that I showed you guys are the list of requirements that the um, San Francisco, California consulate is asking. So actually, it may vary, varies. It depends on the consulate you are under with. Upon doing my research, it changes. So in other consulate, especially in the processing fee, um, they accept cash but in San Francisco California cons Philippine consulate they didn't um, accept cash and for the copies of the other documents it also different so you might want to check that because it's important okay here's another thing make sure that you downloaded your um, report of marriage form in the Philippine consulate that you are under with because they are at the top of the 
here I'm gonna show you at the top of the report of marriage form they already um, put the name of the consulate it's either um, Philippine consulate of San Francisco and our um, Philippine embassy or which consulate you are under with for additional requirements this is only for uh, filing or reporting the marriage a year ago after the occurrence of the marriage so you're gonna they're gonna ask you for additional requirements which is the affidavit of delayed registration of marriage one original copy and four photocopies and that will be all for the requirements now let's proceed to another question how to mail the packet so for you to be able to mail the packet, one requirement is you need to get this priority mail in the United States Post Office. Why do you need two of these? One is for you to put all the requirements in sending here and the other one, the Philippine Embassy or the Philippine Consulate will use it um, to return all the documents after they, after they process the report of marriage. So the other one that you're gonna send to them should have a stamp and tracking. It will be here and you're not allowed to put their address as the sender but you can put your address as the sender and same you can put your address as the receiver. Okay now let's talk about assembling or how are you gonna put um, all the documents here in the mail so you need to follow the order that you put in that you put in your cover letter first is you need to like put your cover letter side here again guys this is just to show you how are you how are you gonna do it but this mail is actually the extra mail that I sent to the Philippine Embassy so they can send back the all the documents by the way i forgot to tell you guys that you need to like pay for the for, pay for this in advance next after cover letter you need to put the marriage certificate then the copies of your birth certificate copies of your passport Next is the processing fee and that's it that's it so you're gonna go to the USPS office and send it to them please do not use other mail aside from Express and priority mail because um, they're worried that if you use another mail the papers or the documents won't fit perfectly or it will like damage the documents and that is a no-no okay I would I want to answer this question is this gonna affect my green card process or adjustment of status process the answer is no it's okay for you to do or file the report of marriage because it's not gonna create a thing or it's not gonna affect your green card process or adjustment of status so you're safe for my timeline in filing up my report of marriage in the Philippine consulate it only took me like two weeks I filed it um, on November 4 and then I received it on November 27 it only took me two weeks and that is fast so I will be putting all the important links on the description box below please feel free to check it because it might help you I know I don't answer all of your inquiries or question that might help you because that helped me a lot, a lot during this process so feel free to check it so that's it for today's vlog i hope everyone enjoyed and especially i have helped you and i make it easier for you to um, do this process if you're gonna do this process if you can relate to me and i hope 
you can use this as your guide in filing up your report of marriage in the Philippine Embassy. And um, I hope you learned a lot. And thank you for subscribing. And to all of my subscribers, thank you so much. Again, you inspired me to make more videos. And that's it. I hope everyone is happy and staying positive. And I'll see you guys in my next vlog. Bye!